Now, we 31 Storm Tracker meteorologist Grace Anello with 31 Triple Doppler. Grace, as we talked about earlier, we've got this tropical storm that is now developed just south of Texas and Louisiana. What are we looking at with that in terms of North Alabama? Yeah, so just within the last hour, we watched potential tropical cyclone six turn into now tropical storm Francine. Now still spinning at 50 miles an hour, but is gaining momentum. And that's where that change is coming in. By the time, well, by the way, before we even get to that, our timing of how the storm is strengthening, that has also changed as well. Now I'm going to walk you through this step by step, but it's going to affect us later this week. So I'm going to go ahead and give you your work week in chronological order so it all makes sense. I just don't want you to think I'm ignoring that. We're going to come right back to it, I promise. Right now in Albertville, we're looking at blue sky and sunshine. No hurricane conditions here, 79 degrees over in Marshall County. Our dew points are sitting in the low 60s, so a world above where we were this morning. However, still really not bad. We're still having a pleasant day. It's feeling like summer, whereas this evening, this weekend felt like fall, but it's still not half bad. Nearly 80 in the Rocket City dew point at 60 yet again. Reminder, oppressive, the oppressive mark for humidity, that comes at 70. So we're still well below that. 11.19 on your Monday and not one drop of rain on 31 triple Doppler right now. Nor will there be today, tomorrow, or even the day after. However, by Thursday, that's when that big change is coming into the forecast. And it's coming because of Tropical Storm Francine. By the time we get to our high temperature of the day today, we'll be a solid 30 degrees warmer than we were just this morning. 87 degrees, that's our high temperature. We're not going to have oppressive humidity, but we will have that summertime heat. And then that brings us to Francine. Now just formed into Francine, like we talked about within the last hour, when it did so, timing changed. It is now expected to strengthen to a Cat 1 hurricane by Tuesday evening. It's expected to make landfall into central Louisiana by Wednesday morning around 7 a.m. Now right now Francine is spinning at 50 miles an hour. Once it spins at 74 miles an hour or greater, that's when it will reach the threshold of becoming a Cat 1. Now, Francine is going to weaken once it impacts into Louisiana, follows up the bootleg, essentially follows just east of the path of the Mississippi River, and then continues towards the Great Lakes. We are not going to see the direct line in the Tennessee Valley or anywhere near it, but we are going to be in the rain band. That's the shaded cone area. That means we're not getting the strongest of the storms, but we are getting some rain and some strong to severe thunderstorms are possible as well. So take a look at how it plays out. It all comes into our forecast overnight on Wednesday into very first thing on Thursday. 5 a.m. Thursday morning and our southwestern counties are waking up to rain. Fast forward to 8 a.m. and about half of us are going to be having a soggy commute into the office on Thursday. From there, the rain continues later into the afternoon and through the evening. The heaviest of the rain and the strongest of the thunderstorms are coming to us later in the evening on Thursday and into the overnight hours. Now, here's the thing. I really don't need you to be scared. However, I want you to know that we are watching this system for modes of severe weather. So trust us, we've got our eyes on it. We're going to make sure you have everything you need to be informed and stay safe. I just don't want it to sneak up on you later this week. There's a whole lot of good news, though, coming with Francine, bringing us anywhere from an inch to two and a half inches of rain. Some of us that see the stronger thunderstorms could see up to three inches of rain. And given that almost all of us west of I-65 are in a severe drought at this time, that's really, really good news. So we're talking about 87 and sunny today nearly 90 and sunny tomorrow cloud cover moves in Wednesday ahead of tropical storm Francine then we have rain and one or two thunderstorms in the forecast on Thursday more rain for the remainder of the 10 day gosh we definitely need that rain that's for sure we sure do and those inches that's that's going to help us quite a bit absolutely well thank you Grace thank you